Taurus, welcome back to the channel. It's the Scene Tarot. So we're going to go ahead and do your love reading for the day to see what's going on with you and your person. Taurus, if this does resonate, remember to like the video. Give this video a big thumbs up on the channel. If this doesn't resonate, you guys, I will have your playlist linked below in the description box. So Taurus, let's see what your person has for you, what messages you're going to get today. What's going on with the Taurus in a relationship? Taurus separated. Taurus, the person that's on Taurus's mind. Thank you, angels. Thank you. Thank you. Taurus. Taurus. Thank you for all your support, Taurus. I know you guys are trying to build up your videos. So thank you. Keep it going. Keep all the likes going for us so I can include those bonuses, love, um, single love. Um, what else I do? Full reads, mega reads for you, overviews. <laughs> all right. So thank you for all your love on the channel. Okay. Taurus, please. Thank you. All right. Let's see what we have here. Ooh. Get ready for an apology. Someone is coming towards you with affection. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, what you need to look out for is this Leo energy. Someone is coming towards you. Uh, Taurus to you know fix a conflict that's going on between you and them I feel like this person is realizing this is going to cause a lot of confidence that they need to acquire to do this um, in the strength card okay so get ready for that I feel like this person is there I feel like this person wants to solve this issue I feel like they don't want to argue they don't want to have any bad blood towards you they want everything to be smooth as possible even if you decide that you know one day you guys need to be friends or something like that they want you to have some kind of understanding here so that's what you don't see coming with this energy i'm also seeing there's a miss not a miss but a, a shift in this in this um situation where someone is either filing for divorce here separation because we have the ace of pentacles okay we have the knight of wands we have the eight of swords Okay, we have the two of cups here. We also have the magician in reverse. We have the nine of swords and the page of wands. And the first thing I'm looking at is the ace of pentacles where there is some kind of end here or delay with this. Okay, this could be a family. This could be a marriage. This could be a business. This could be something that's tied up, you know, contracts together, money together, you know, your abundance. Okay, and everything is falling apart here. But I feel like this Aries Leo or Sag energy is coming towards you and they want to continue this relationship even though even though this is in turmoil as you can see at this present time this person is rushing towards this to make this work now I feel like there's a lot of lies here that was told in this connection and it kind of blew up in this person's face okay where you're kind of like okay I asked you about the truth I want to know the facts and I want to make a decision from there because you're keeping me blind here i don't know what i'm um what's coming in front of me what i'm gonna have to fight what what's going on and you just want to be included here but this person honestly continues to disappoint to disappoint you and not telling you exactly what's going on and this caused a, a, a drift in this relationship where you are feeling like you need to disconnect from this okay marriage is coming up really strongly here okay or this person sees you as someone that could have been engaged with or could have been you know um planning a whole life with and also i'm seeing the magician here as well where someone is really upset and you know really dark right now in the magician okay i'm feeling like this person may have done things that they should not have done and i'm also feeling that this could be you this person talking about you really badly with their tongue and you know i just had a reading i don't know if it was gemini yes it was where you know this energy came up and i was explaining to them like you know one moment this person loves you and then the month the next moment this person hates you 
And I'm like, how can it be the same? How can it be that this person values? Because I really feel like this is an energy where it's just very confusing. This is an energy where it's very dark. And the same person that lay with you may harm you. And you need to be very careful with your energy here because this person is thinking like, you know what? If you can't be with me, you can't be with anyone kind of energy. Um, not saying that this person is going to do something to you, but they're probably using manifestation to harm you. And this is something that is very serious with me because I experience these things in my life with people hating on me and people hating on others where I see if you're not a spiritual person and if you're not protected by God's energy, these things will come into your life and end your life by people just manifesting with their tongue. Your tongue is the sword of your body. Your tongue is the most powerful thing that you do have. And this person is using their tongue to cause harm in your life, negativity in your life. You know, so you need to protect your energy. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? Now, let's look at the swords, okay? I'm seeing that you are, like, letting a lot of things go here. Before, it, this used to stress you out, give you anxiety. I'm seeing a lot of you didn't eat very well or sleep very well. Um, there was a lot of tears here, a lot of depression, thinking about things, you know, that can physically, you know, take your life. And these dark thoughts you're waking up from, I'm seeing you're letting go from, okay? But there is a conversation that needs to be had that this person is taking their lovely time to come towards you, to tell you exactly what happened, um, even though they know this is something in the strength that they need to do, okay? They really need to do. So let's move on to the rest on the bottom here, Okay. All right, so I'm also getting soulmate connection. Don't know if I said that, but this is a strong pull. It's a contract between two people, and this is why it's hurting so much, okay? I'm also getting the apology. The six of wands is in reverse here. <laughs> Listen, this apology is coming, but what follows is the six of wands. We, we're going to explain that. All right, the ten of wands here, the ten of swords. Then we have the five of pentacles. We have the ten of of cups and then we have your person's energy and it's funny how we have the message magician in the empire the emperor the emperor in reverse as well you know very controlling energy um very set energy stubborn energy this person might be mentally abusing you or physically okay i feel like it's uh a thing where they're trying to mess up your confidence within yourself and trying to shift that. So you believe that the only thing you that you deserve is this person, okay? This relationship. And you won't be able to go anywhere else and find someone better than them, okay? And this is a horrible way to think because they have issues within themselves, obviously. But, you know, th <laughs> this person is so crazy. Look. They want you guys to stay together, happy life, happy, happy life, happy life. I'm not going to say happy wife, happy life, but you know, happy life, happy life. That's what they're thinking about, but this is their energy. So as long as they're in control of you, they're happy. As long as you listen to whatever they got to say, they're happy. You understand me? As long as you don't have your own personality and your own way of thinking, they're happy. <laughs> And it's a sick way, but this is what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing a, a lot of using, a lot of debt here. This person probably put things in your name without you knowing. This person probably messed up your credit for some of you. You're going through a lot of mental um, agony here. And <sighs> wow, you know, a lot of mental. As you're starting to let go, you're just falling back. Like you're letting go of the crying. You're letting go of the depression. And you're letting go of things that you might feel like, oh, this is my fault. And as soon as you let go of that, then you're dealing with the healing. Why did I let this person come into my life and do this? Why did I let them have control of my life and try to control me? Something within me is not correct. So you're taking responsibility of this. You're trying to heal. I don't feel like you can heal with this person in your life. You're trying to change things here about that but this person did a lot of things with a five of pentacles then you have a ten of cups here you have the apology here 
all right? But you're looking at this person like it's not even worth it at this point in the Six of Wands being in reverse. Like you're saying, you know what? You're not a go-getter like I thought. You're not attractive like I thought. You appear to be this to everybody else. Like you have your life together and like you're doing things. You're you're getting things. You're accomplished. You're being rewarded. But truly, to me, I know who you truly are. You're none of these things. This was a burden to carry. I was the one. I was the one holding everything up and making you look good. This is what I'm hearing, and I'm letting go of this. I'm letting go of this whole relationship. You're healing. You're trying to type this five of pentacles. For some of you, this person turned their energy against you, was very cold to you, stole a lot of your money, spending money that they don't have in the household. So there was less money coming in and more was being spent here, okay? I feel like for some of you, in debt, in debt, trying to figure out how to get your life back on track, okay? Because this person here all they're thinking about is keeping you where they need to be like they feel like okay we're having situations you know now like we're in a bump of a road like a bump of the road right now but you know what in the future you're gonna be with me that's it you're not gonna go anywhere you're not gonna go anywhere i'm getting like leo vibes eerie's leo sag okay this is Aries, this is Leo, but I just feel like Aries, Leo, and Sag. Fire sign is like popping on me for this reading. Fire signs are popping on me. <sighs> I'm trying to look and see if there is anything else before I go. Mm. I just feel like you need to protect your energy, you know? We have Gemini and Virgo with the Magician. Um, Capricorn, um, Virgo or Sag, um, um, Taurus here, which is your energy. We have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, a little bit of everything, honestly. A little bit of everything. So this is what I see, guys. I hope it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like the video, give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. And I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.